Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Chrono Trigger DS. And we're still listening to Frog's epic tune here, so let's talk to everybody here. Talk to me. Thank you. Oh, how dare he? Yeah, okay, we already heard that from him. Yeah, who? Yeah, well, we know, but they don't know. Oh. So apparently Lean's heard the story now. Yeah, and you have to use talk to Lean to get that trigger. Um, it was this one, wasn't it? I'm like forgetting which way to go in here. And of course, we leave the throne room so the music stops. I love that tune. And she's magically rematerializing before our eyes without the dress she disappeared in. Okay, where the hell did it go? Oh, poor Marl. Uh oh. I she's been discovered. Oh no. Bullshit. Yeah, we know this. The thirty third, okay. See I, I could never remember the goddamn number. <laughs> Yes, I would. I'm a nice guy. Let's get the freak out of here. And there are so many renditions of this tune, like, in this soundtrack. There's, like, three of them, and I really don't like this song. So now we got Mara back in our party. Yay! Now, I'm gonna admit right off the bat that Marla's not my favorite character. She's okay, but I, I find she suffers from a Disney princess syndrome. Now we can have a little scene here. They don't look that much alike. I mean, they look similar, but I don't think they could be mistaken for one another. Especially since Lean's probably got at least 10 years on her. Yeah, that actually pretty much sums it up. Alright, we're not even going to elaborate on that. Yay! Frog is back! So, you've been just standing right there for ten minutes waiting for us to come back. Okay. Um, no it wasn't. What is with this bounder self-pity he has? I, I, I honestly do not understand why Frog just goes emo here. I don't get it. I mean, we don't know why Lean was captured to begin with, but... You know, considering the champ- you know, Yaku was disguised as the Chancellor, I don't think anybody knew that until we actually encountered it for ourselves. So even if Frog was there, there wasn't anything really he could do. And of course we get ambushed outside here. This battle may be avoidable, but... Let's just quickly take him out. Ooh, Lurker learns Hypno Wave, which is a technique I like never ever use. And by the way, the dual tech we have with Marlin Chrono, which I got when I was getting silver points from God, it was Aura Whirl. Uh, Aura, like Slurp, is a single targeting cure spell, Aura Whirl is a multi targeting. Um, but Hypno Wave just puts enemies to sleep and. It's kind of stupid because um, there's only one situation I actually find is semi-useful and it's not even really that useful because as soon as you attack an enemy that's asleep, they wake up. So unless you're really having difficulty in a group of enemies, it's not very useful at all. So I'm going to rest up at the end real quick. said you wouldn't be really be having trouble with groups of enemies if unless you number one was an idiot and didn't watch your HP or number two just avoided too many battles so let's go back the way we came and just do truce in truce canyon whatever now once again we're gonna get ambushed at this point by two by two different enemies 
Um, when you go one way, you have one group of enemies, and when you go back the other way, you have a different group. This, ba this ambush is unavoidable, by the way. Man, this thing has more HP than I remember. Don't stop me. See, yeah, Marl and Luca aren't great attackers. is back here. Or this portal or whatever the hell you want to call it. Yes, I don't like being a princess. What the hell did you just do? And she's laughing. What one thing I do like about Luca, even though I think she's way too cliche and her genius is despite being, well, kind of a dork, at least she's confident in her own abilities. I just suppose it's some cool. Yes, being a princess sucks. I'd rather be an inventor. Gates. Or laser. No, I'm just kidding. This is the only one we've encountered. When did you become an expert on this stuff? So basically, in about an hour's time, between when we got here and when we ran in with Marl, she's figured all this out and got and invented this gate key. What the hell? Clearly she's still dumped on her on that part. But how do we know for sure if it leads back to the same period of time? I mean, like I said, when did Luca become such an expert on this? That, that's my biggest problem with her, is she's way too smart for her own good. She, she, she's like... What's the word? I don't know. I can't think of the word I'm looking for. I know what it is, but... Oh, oh. Sure. Don't lie. You want to leave me on a hot date with this chick. Yeah, I love how she conveniently just disappears. But anyway, um... Let's get out of here. Let's check on our kitty cats. Because, like I said uh, before, I don't know how quickly the cat food gets used up. So... And I want as many cats as I can. Oh, we still got 20. Okay, we get plenty. So we won't need to get cat food for a while. See, no new kitties yet, but... Actually, is Luca in the house right now? I've never actually looked. Oh, she is here. Okay. See, I've never actually just come here. Why are you talking about robots? You were just you were trying to figure out what the hell is going on with the gates. Man, you get sidetracked quickly. Would you get in there? Thank you. So this is our first time in Guardia Forest in our own age. Well, let's just beat the crap out of these. I don't even know how to pronounce that word. I'm not going to butcher it. They're basically, they're mushroom guys. Ooh, there's Mama's critical hit. Which is pretty cool. Lucas is similar, like, because obviously they don't make physical contact with the enemy with their own weapon. Um, the screen kind of just flashes briefly like that when they're getting a critical, so. And here we have a shiny, which is a strength capsule. You can actually get this right at the start of the game, but I decided not to because I didn't want to come here and kind of break the atmosphere and the continuity and everything. We've already fought that guy, so. I'm not sure if this one is avoidable. It may be, it may not be. Let's take on these scarab guys and the this bird. Anyway, the shape of this map is pretty much exactly the same as the uh, Guardia Forest in 600 AD. 
So, not too hard to figure out. Uh, work your way around. These guys are avoidable, so just walk between them, just don't touch them. And we actually have an area off to the right here with one of these mysterious boxes. Anyway, continuing on. Let's get our butts to the castle. Hello! I was dreaming of something more in a life outside this palace. What? Good God, you're an asshole. Yes, I kidnapped the princess only to return her home. Clearly, I am a terrorist. Clearly. I'm going to ransom her off by bringing her safely back to her home. My God, you people are idiots. Yeah, don't I kind of outrank you, Chancellor? Marl, you have a crossbow in your pants! Shoot them! Shoot somebody! <laughs> Jeez! See, like I said, Disney Princess Syndrome there. She's, she's totally free-willed outside the palace, but as soon as she's in the palace, oh no, I gotta adhere to the rules and everything like that. And no, I'm not really kind of dissing on Disney movies because, I mean, I love, like, specifically, like, the 90s Disney Renaissance. I love those movies and everything like that, so don't get me wrong. So, they're putting us on trial. Nice. Well, I guess this is the product of the criminal justice system that we kind of helped put into place because they're not executing us outright. Oh, oh, you guys are jerks. So, so, so they do want to, he does want to kill us, but at least we're getting a fail trial first. If you call this fair. Yeah, see? See? You can't prove it. You know, if this is the United States system, you know, the burden of proof is on you prosecution. I didn't do anything. Now, how does he know this? I mean, I'm, I'm guessing there there's this scene beforehand, you know, kind of a... You know, kind of like in real life where, you know, you guys get to talk to your lawyer first before you're summoned in a court. I'm assuming there's a scene like that. So, remember all those events earlier in the game where I said, you know, do this to get a possible, out, you know, ugh, a positive outcome? This is the last one right here. Take the blame on it. But it was an accident! Actually, we kind of ran into each other, because she wasn't looking where she was going either. Oh, really? Really? Isn't she the one who wanted to go in the telepod? Didn't she think it was fun? Chancellor, you're a dick. <coughs> OBJECTION! Sorry, I didn't do anything. Small pendant that was a problem. Why don't I get Luca in here? Her someone with who had the thing with the telepod that screwed up. Why is she not being put on trial here? See, and, and the little girl whose kitty we saved comes to our rescue. See, I'm a sweet guy. I mean, I hardly think that's enough evidence to say I'm a good guy and therefore I wouldn't do this. But hey, every little bit helps, huh? No. I b yeah, I believe the this is part of it, too. I forgot about this question. Nope! See, I didn't even know she was the princess until like five minutes ago! Now this is where all your answers come into play. Rabble, 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 rabble! Oh, why did I get guilt? Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. The second... Number two is glitched, and he will randomly say guilty or not guilty. I was hoping for all seven not guilties. This is gonna suck. I 
forgot about that. I thought they might have fixed this in this version, but they did not. But basically, what you replied as your answer changes what the uh, the jury says. And obviously, for the answers I selected, we got not guilty. But since number two, which I totally forgot about till this moment, randomly says guilty or not guilty, yeah, that's why I got kind of got screwed there. Nothing. This makes a gr uh, you know makes makes a big deal in the grand scheme of the things in the game. This only changes one small thing. So even if they all say you're guilty, the game is largely going to stay the same. And pretty much, yeah, this dialogue won't change even if I got all the not guilties. Take him away! Oh, now you show up! Where the hell were you ten minutes ago when they were, you know, threatening to kill me? But I didn't do anything wrong. Why, why is it illegal for her to go out and have fun at the fair? You know, for celebrating the thousandth, you know, year anniversary of the kingdom she is going to someday rule. Why is this a crime? This is like another encounter of the Disney princess syndrome. It's like, oh, I can't explore my own kingdom. It's like, I'm the, it's like, I'm the only child of the king, and yet I can't do a damn thing. I don't know, I'm kind of ranting here. I'm not half as angry about it as I am pretending to be, but... Do you not also find that BS, viewers? I mean, if you're going to be in charge of things one day, it's like you need to know what they have to do. I and mean, keeping you confined in the castle isn't going to do shit. What? I did no such thing! Um, no, we found, we're found not guilty. Um, guy behind me, back me up here. What? What? That's right. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, you people are idiots. God, this chance is a jerk. What the hell did we do to him? Why does he want to kill us? Why? Oh, great. So we're stuck in a jail cell. Ah, great. So basically you can, uh, drink this mug to get your health back up. And you can examine this pouch here. Now, the number of guilties and not guilties you have, um... Basically, we'll change how many ethers are in there. If I gotten all seven not guilties, there would be six ethers in there. That's pretty much the only thing. The, the guilties. Ooh, I forgot about time passes in here. So anyway, we're going to save the game. And end the episode here. So, what the hell is going to happen to us? You're going to have to find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger DS. See you later.